The doll family have been in an accident. We were inside of a trike, both me, Jessa and Liam, our little boy, was inside of a trike when it got hit by a motorbike. Let's watch the video and uh, take it from there, shall we? So here we are. We're seeing this is just right this is like 30 seconds after the crash actually um the man in the copter a white t-shirt is the one driving the motorbike crashing straight into the trike we were inside of you should see there with the flashlight take a look at the driver though i'm not 100 percent convinced that he was uh, was sober i mean i'm not accusing him of drinking because i cannot now it's just the way this accident happened and the way he acts at the scene makes me a little bit suspicious. Look at his eyes, look at his slow demeanor. It could also be a shock of the accident, you don't really know. But once again, I have my suspicions. He was riding with a boy on the bike. I don't know if there was more than two people, that was what I saw. So, uh, not much material damages on the bike, but he was definitely having a good speed. The trike was not moving, we were standing still, we were just uh, waiting, so we were absolutely not moving, thank god. This is where Jess and Liam were sitting, you see the glass is flying inside, good thing no glass hit uh, Jess or Liam, thank god for that. And I was sitting behind because obviously I'm a big guy, I need some more space. Um, yeah, we're all fine, no damages on me, Jess or Liam. I only got like a glass splinter in my foot. That's that's the extent of our damages. I don't know with the boy. He was uh, screaming to begin with there, coming down there as you can see. But you know, uh, you never know in an accident like this. And he is taken to the hospital together with what I can only assume is his family, including the driver, which I would also assume is his dad without knowing so what can we say about this accident first it is definitely not a trike driver he was standing still and the kicker is it's a one-way street the motorbike driver was driving the wrong way neither him or the boy had a helmet i don't know if there's anyone else on the bike because it all happened very fast um when the accident happened, uh, as, you know, the most the most scaring thing was when the bike was on the ground and wheel was spinning. I'm scared that the bike will hit something. I was scared it was hit me and Liam if or Jess if we can get out of it. So we sat put until the wheel started uh, stop spinning on that motorbike and. Uh, and as soon as I start spinning, I get out of the trike, grab my boy, run him to safety. And before I could come back for Jessa, she was actually on her way out herself and ran to me, hugging me and um, taking the boy because he was crying. He was scared, of course. Not really much crying, but he was a little bit shocked because he, he was sitting there seeing this bike coming straight towards him. And the worst part about this is... I mean, it's many bad parts about this. No helmets and all of that. Come back to that later. But the thing is, this is another reason I think maybe some alcohol have been involved. He did not break. Did not even try to break. He was actually speeding. I, before the crash, I heard a bike speeding up. Then I heard Jessa say, Mama, like, she was, this was uh, the voice of terror, the voice of fear. And half a second after Jessa said that, the bike hit. And Jessa and Liam saw that bike hit. And it was driving fast because it shook us pretty bad inside. Uh, remember these trikes, they're full of metal, they're kind of sturdy. And, um, and then there was chaos until... Uh, 
the wheel stop spinning and I could run out get Liam to safety and I started filming after that obviously just take uh, Liam giving a hug and so forth so another thing is that it was an occasion seems like some kind of occasion in the in the town that day me and Jesta was there because of a contest with Beatmaster the next day so that that's why we were there and um, I mean if you're not on alcohol if you're not under the influence of alcohol why would you drive so fast into a parked vehicle without helmet on you without helmet on your son without trying to brake so that means that if that is how we drive for normal i don't know if it's worse or if it's equally bad it's both is horrible horrible situations so why would you drive like that with your boy in there anyway i don't know if there was any other kids involved but it definitely was uh, the little boy was involved there so me and jessa and of course liam we rarely take trikes we hardly ever take taxi no i mean not taxi taxi uh, i mean uh, bus the reason we don't take trikes is because it's obviously very dangerous it's not a safe ride and as me and Jess have been driving all over the Philippines now we know that most of the drivers have no idea about how the traffic rules are supposed to work uh, they do not do most things correctly and that just increases the danger of driving with them and then the buses we don't drive it because it's uh, like a uh, death trap a mass murder machine because uh, the drivers here in the Philippines are many of the bus drivers here in the Philippines are insane it's so horrible how they're driving and it's just not safe enough to bring my boy into a bus it's just not we only do it when we have no other option and thus doing trikes and buses as little as we can we minimize the risk of getting into an accident still at the age of three Liam was in an accident because me and Jessa I said it before a couple of years ago and I say it again me and Jessa and Liam driving from Ginatilan all the way to the city on a motorbike is much much safer than doing the same trip on a bus or a minivan just do the smart thing rent your own vehicle it's 10 times safer being five years since last time you rode a motorbike to ride a motorbike yourself than to be driven around in a van a bus and a track if you can rent a car on that note and on that advice thanks for watching see you on the next one bye bye thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end if you liked it subscribe to our youtube subscribe to our facebook it would help out a lot we also have a website called earthoftomorrow.com where you can find all of my videos we have forum travel reviews product reviews and a whole big community for everybody interested in anything to do with the philippines